Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. I'm Christy Scheib and this morning we're visiting with Minnie McCauley. She's an Extension Specialist for Instructional Support for the University of Kentucky. Good morning, Mindy. Good morning. I'm so happy to be here. I'm so happy that you're with us, Mindy. And today you are going to talk to us about the five P's of professionalism. Mindy, what is professionalism? Professionalism is just how we present ourselves, how we, um, some of our attitudes, some of our thoughts, even some of the skills that we've developed that help us to be a good employee. Um, and so in this time of year, we have lots of people who are looking for jobs. And so if you can kind of polish up your professionalism and be just a little bit more um, ready when it comes time to do that, that job interview or whatever, then that's you're, you've got ten, two steps ahead of the game, right? Yes, exactly. And it's great to know that we can practice these skills. Mindy, what are the five pieces of professionalism? So let's just run through them real quickly. We've got polite, um, personal, present, performance, and um, then polish. And so we'll, we'll talk about each one a little bit. Okay. All right, Mindy, polite. <laughs> But, okay. <laughs> yes, and that's just what your mama and daddy told you. Uh, treat others the way that you want to be treated. And I, I, whether it's the person that is um, greeting you when you come in to get your interview, or it's the actual CEO of the company who's interviewing you, treat them all the same uh, because that will be remembered. And if you are polite and kind and respectful to everyone, then that makes a big difference. And once you land that job, don't change. Keep that going because you know, the custodian, you know, the, the person that you see on the street that might be involved in your work, um, they, will they all need to be treated the same way. And then we have personal. So personal is part of what we're talking about here. You know, wear the name tag. Make sure that people know who you are and what who you represent. Um, but then also, you know, remember people's names. Mm -hmm. It makes people feel good when they know that you find them important enough that they're going to, you're going to remember their name. Maybe even so. do some research before you head into exactly. that Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. And if you need to make a mnemonic device to help you remember, go for it because that, that's going to make life a lot easier for you. Great tip. All right, Mindy, present. Uh, present, of course, is just being in the moment, you know, being there. So if you have a, a handheld device, just leave it in the car. You don't even have to bring it in. Um, so leave it there so that you are right in that moment. And then also make sure that you're punctual. Mm -hmm. um, so, and, and by punctual, I say, mean 10 minutes early. Uh, mm -hmm. Because if you are coming in on two wheels two minutes late, that's not going to leave a good impression. So be punctual. Um, and also make sure you're prepared. So as you said, do your homework if you need to. Um, if you need to find out a little bit more about the company that you're interviewing with or even the person that you're interviewing with. All right, Mindy, next we have performance. So performance is going to be, once you get that job, you want to make sure that you perform at the highest level that you possibly can. Um, and whether that is, you know, whether, whether you're working in fast food or, you know, working in a Fortune 500 company, you need to do the best job that you can possibly do for the job that you were hired to do. So just make sure that you um, get yourself together and that you're ready to do that job. And finally, Mindy, our fifth P is polish. So our fifth P is lots of fun <laughs> um, because I like to make sure that people know what I mean when I say polish. And that really is just present yourself mm -hmm. well. Um, so make sure you're clean and neat. You don't have to wear the latest fashions, mm -hmm. but you need to make sure that you are dressing for the job that you are interested in. And so I think we're going to talk about this a little bit more um, on another segment, but I, it's a great time and it's, it's a great, great fun thing to do to, yes. to make sure that we get through um, that job search. Yes. And like you said, we have many people looking for jobs right now. And it's always a great reminder to just do the best that you can with what you have exactly. so that you can make that the best impression. All right, Mindy. I agree. Great job. Thanks for being with us thank today. You. All righty. Thank you so much for joining us today on the Farm and Home Show. Be sure to stay tuned as we continue our conversation with Mindy McCauley.